games like this. Can you potentially use that learning experience last year? Yeah, I think we can see what happens if you don't put the, you know, get back on track. You, know, you, you let one bad night, you know, throw in the entire second half of our season. That's what happened last year. You know, you'd hope that we're more aware of that. We understand that a lot of the guys in this locker room went through that and uh, have, have enough pride and have enough sense of what we're capable of to, uh, to bounce back. Greg, what was their defense doing to, to get you guys off the field on third down? You know, you know, that's what they do. That's one of their strengths. You know, we kept obviously the third and longs and falling behind schedule obviously didn't help us much. You know, early in the game when we were trying to fight to regain momentum after falling behind, you know, penalties killed us. You know, we had the long run by Christian call back. We got a first down, had the illegal man downfield that put us back, never gotten in, never converted that first down. You know, you're not gonna beat teams like this. You know, we they're, they're too good to, to give them. You're going to have to earn everything you have, and then to the times you do win, to not have it count you know, is not a recipe for success. You mentioned last year what you guys went through. I guess you were talking about Pittsburgh game. What did you guys learn from that that's going to be helpful this time around? We'll find out. You know, we'll find out this time around. Obviously, we didn't do a good job in this locker room bouncing back. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that, but you know, the reality is we lost seven in a row. We can't let it happen. You know, hopefully we have the, we feel good about the groups of guys that we have in here. A lot of the guys understand and have a bitter taste in their mouth from how that second half of year went last year. And this is a new team and a new season and all that. But uh, if you handle it right, it's not an issue. If you don't respond the right way and you think, oh, don't, it won't happen again just because we say it's not going to happen, you're going to be in trouble. Greg, after the safety and, and that run that time by Christian, do you have yeah. a good sense that things were turning around? Yeah, I mean, Christian's run was awesome. Then he, you know, made a great play on the two-point conversion. You know, we got ten points there in a couple minutes. Um, you know, cut it to two scores, but you know, we just weren't efficient enough offensively and you know, collectively. I mean, this was the ultimate team meltdown. When did it feel like it was starting to get out of hand? <laughs> uh, I mean, what was the score? I mean, I don't know. Not ideal to fall behind on the road against arguably the best defense in the league. We, that was not the recipe that we had going into the game. And then, but as he said, when we, we got the safety and then the quick eight on offense, we cut it to 15, 14. Um, you know, a ton of time, but uh, obviously it didn't play out that way. That defensive line as legit as advertised? Yeah, you know, they're a good front. We, I mean, we knew, we, we knew the challenge ahead of us. We knew our plan, you know, to stay, stay you know, stay on schedule, not put ourselves in third and long. There were going to be plays there to make in the run and pass. We made a lot of, you know, we made a decent amount of them in the run game. You know, had the one call back by Christian was really, you know, that was backbreaker, you know. I just, I don't remember what we were down at that point, but a touchdown there just would have caught our breath a little bit. But uh, just the way it goes. What were they doing uh, in their pass rush that was? Well, they, just got, they got a lot of good pass rushers. Mm -hmm. You know, they have five top five picks or whatever. You know, when you start accumulating guys like that and they all play together, you can really get after the quarterback. So they didn't do any. You know, we, we we understood the challenge and this. You know, it was an entire you know offensive plan that everyone shared and it's not just the left tackle it's not just the guard it's not just the o-line it's tight ends chipping its backs chipping its receivers winning its quarterbacks getting the ball out of their hand you know it's a collective offensive effort when you're going against the front that can generate such pass rush and uh that was our you know we just didn't do a good job executing and then when you know you fall behind three scores and they know they have to throw you know that's just them playing from the lead with that front that's you know playing right into their hands. How tough is it at the end to, to be on the sidelines watching like that when, yeah. they, when they're starting to sub guys in? So, hasn't happened to me a lot in my career. A handful of times you have games like this where it's tough. You know, it's not how we imagine the day going, but uh, you know we got to respond from it. It's the only way you can do.